So here are the prints I made in the first video. If you remember using a whole variety of techniques just because I wanted to play with the circle. I think I'm going to play with this one today and finish this and turn it into um, an art journal page. Now often when I'm art journaling I don't really know where I'm going with it so I'll get out my supplies, things that I might use. So first of all a little bit of texture stamping. I'm keeping to the same colours really. And I like these petal shapes that I created when I was printing, so I'm just going to add a tiny bit, a little pop of that neon in the centre of each one. Now, this centre circle here is the perfect place for some journaling, so I'm just going to do some journaling very loose and scribbly within that circle. Distress cranes are a real favourite of mine. They're really nicely pigmented, but they're also very soft. I've often used them tone on tone, so reds on reds, yellows on yellows, just to build up colour and a bit of definition. few top layers now of just some neutrals. I've picked out a deep gold and um, a carbon black and I've also got a couple of butterflies, collage butterflies. I think they will sit really well kind of flying around this sort of mandala that I've created. I'm going to bring in a bit of black with a palette knife. And also a plastic card. And now for some gold with um, a bottle lid. I'm thinking now of adding this to my well-loved and almost full Dilution Square Black Journal. Now the 8 inch circle sits perfectly inside this size page. What I'm going to do before I stick this down, I'm going to stitch around the edge. Now stitching is always optional. I always like to add a bit of stitching and it's easiest to do this before you stick it down. Final steps now. I've just got a white and a pink Posca. I've picked out the pinks. There's a lot of pink on the page and I'm just going to do a tiny bit of doodling outside of the circle just to kind of bring the circle out into the page. So, some straightforward but effective stencil techniques this time on the lovely 8 inch round to a finished journal page using my hand cut stencils. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you'll have fun playing along.